What is up peeps, this is for the Win TCG, and welcome you back to another YouTube video, and uh, today we're going to be playing, oh, your decks. Uh, there's going to be a series that I'm going to be introducing onto the channel, and um, I know for some time, I've asked you guys to submit uh, decks into my decklist suggestions tab over on my Discord. I thought it would be a great idea to make use of them um, in its own little mini series. So I thought it would be a really good idea to just take your decks and play them as you submit them, um, and then afterwards... Uh, either giving suggestions on the deck if it could be better or obviously praising the deck if it is something that is a really great deck and plays perfectly um, and something that you guys can engage in as well to help uh, expand all of our knowledge on uh, the Pokemon trading card game. So I thought it would be a really cool series to do and it does involve you guys as well. So if you do want to submit a deck you can go to my Discord server, uh, join there and submit your list to uh, the deck list suggestions tab. So uh, once you do that I'll be able to see it and of course I'll pick it up and be able to play it. Of course, I can't guarantee I'll do it right away, considering how many suggestions there are already. Um, but yeah, if I think it's something that'd be pretty cool, I'm just going to jump into it, start playing it, and uh, li I'm literally going to play it card for card how you submitted it. So I won't change it up or anything down that line, which is what I used to do. I used to take a deck, submit it by you guys, and go, okay, let me put my touch on it, and then upload it. But this time, I'm just going to take it straight how you submit it and play it, see how it pans out. So if you do want a deck that you wanted to see on the channel, then yeah, definitely go submit it. I will be uh, checking it out at one point or another. So uh, do go ahead and do that if you want to. And today we're going to be playing a list uh, that was submitted by, um, over on my Discord, he's down as Pokey Alpha, but uh, he has Isidro in his name. So I don't know if that's going to be his YouTube name or not, because sometimes I know your YouTube name is different to your Discord name. But yeah, let's see how this goes. He um, submitted a <clears throat> quite an interesting... Uh, white Curum deck that uses Arceus. Uh, I know this is not the first time it's been combined, but he's got his own little um, tweaks to the deck. So I know Arceus, White Curum played Feromosa and stuff, uh, but this one is playing Katana and is using Zapdos um, as a lightning type Pokemon to come into play. Um, so it's an interesting it's an interesting adaptation of the deck and I want to try it out. With that said, I'm going to use this adventure bag here to power get off. power up uh, to get choice. I'm just going to get the one choice band. Yes, this deck does actually play the, uh, I've got this, I don't even know what it's called, but that hood thing. <laughs> I'm just going to say that hood thing. Um, okay, this is kind of a rough one. Let's just get the switch for now, I guess. Attach the energy to, well, I don't want to attach energy yet. I want to see if we get the Arceus and any other setup. We don't, so that's fine with me. Uh, we'll retreat to the Curum here. And I think that's the best way to go. They could Guzma up the Jirachi and take it out, which would be bad. But I think that's fine. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, I thought it was a really interesting form of the deck. And I wanted to give it a shot and see how it works. Um, so here we are kind of figuring it out. Oh, they actually... Okay, thank God. I was going to go, no, they're not going to go for the Guzma, really. Um, thank God they don't. Um, so this guy plays a lot of um, stuff. Now my main concern with this deck, I would say, is it plays no Ultra Balls. And it's not a post-rotation list, bear that in mind. The only search it has is Nest Ball. Now obviously I understand, considering the whole deck is basic Pokemon. But in a deck that requires a Lightning, Grass, and um, Water type, plus Arceus, to be able to use Arceus as attack. Um, which I'm assuming is what wants to be uh, the main goal in the early game. You're going to need a lot of search to be able to do that. So I'm thinking that's already one way to improve the deck. Because as you're seeing here, we're already starting off quite slow considering we can't just get things out. Which seems to be the main uh, issue with the deck. Just looking at it from this standpoint. Regardless, uh, I'm going to switch into this Jirachi. And see what we pull. We get a Rescue Stretcher. That's nothing great so far. Um, I don't mind attaching here. Just get rid of the... The Thunder Mountain could be good with this, right? With that Field Crush. That could be decent. We could uh, actually Guzma something and, and go for a Field Crush. Um, we could Guzma the Coco. But that we would, that would just force him to retreat with an energy and then accelerate him into play. We could get the Dene going. Maybe we Guzma this up. The Picaron. They'd have to get a switch play in order to use Coco and get it charged up. Plus, we get rid of the... Yeah, plus we get rid of the Thunder Mountain, which is what I want to do. So, let's do that. I think it's a... I think that's, I think that's the most optimal play we could have there. We do get rid of the Thunder Mountain, which is good. 
So, now don't get me wrong, he can still do a bunch of energy switches and stuff, which I know Picaron plays. But I think that was the best way to go. Especially considering our only draw support right now is Judge. Good. Ha <laughs> it's paying off. Good stuff. Good stuff. We could go for another Guzma play. Oh, they've gone for the quit. All right, sweet. Um, let's go again. Let's roll again and uh, see how it works out. Again, I, I think... Bear in mind, with these decklist suggestions, I don't know exactly how the deck is meant to be played. I have to kind of figure it out myself. But, um, yes, I do have a peg on my hand. I don't know why. Um, but I'm assuming you want to ask us at the start and then use things like um, Aqua Patch in the late game to keep your Curums going. Also using Zapdos to act as like a pseudo... No, not a pseudo. as like a, a secondary attacker in the deck, should I say. Um, with Kartana as well. Kartana is pretty good because, of course, it has the free retreat like promo. So, but... He has that first attack, which is 130, when you have four prize cards. So that was a pretty good, pretty good inclusion in the deck uh, to replace Feromosa, considering Feromosa doesn't really do anything great. Unless you see my Feromosa video, which is actually pretty good. But other than that, you know, it's it's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool inclusion in the deck. All right, what do we come up against here? What do we come up against? I just want to see. I see a lot of Mewtwo. Obviously, it's not Mew Mewtwo that's not out yet. I can't wait for that card. That's going to be so dope. Just not even not even just playing the card, just having it as a collector's card. Like, I love Mewtwo so much. So whenever Mewtwo cards comes out, I'm excited. Um, right. Starting Arceus is good. Starting Jirachi is even better. We can't use Arceus yet, so... We do need a draw supporter, though. We do need a draw supporter. Now, this deck plays a fair amount of draw support, actually. It plays, I think... Four Cynthia, two Lily, and three Tate and Liza. So it has a fair amount, I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to lie, bruh. Now we are going to want to do this attack, so I'm just going to chuck this whole hand down. Hopefully we get a Lily. We do! Oh yeah! Alright, let's go for the Lily. Um, and uh, see what we get. Now I think the reason they played Tate and Liza is just alternative switch options, which makes sense. Um, so that's that. So let's get Curum down. No, 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 let's not. Let's get Zapdos. Considering it's the least... Uh, we can attack with it next turn, thanks to the Rainbow Energy. And... Do I retreat? No. I don't think this deck's going to have... Like a turn 1 KO or something. I mean, I doubt that. They're playing Vulpix, so they probably are playing an Evolution deck. Probably a Stage 2, right? So... If that's the case, then I'm okay leaving the Jirachi up front. Yeah, but this, this Zapdos is a good start because we can attack with it next turn with what we've got on our hand. Look up! Okay, what is going on? What is this? It won't be... It's not one of those draw decks, is it? The Salazzle Unknown deck? No. Is it? That's a tough deck to beat, I'll be honest with you. Meganian. Oh, wow! Are we actually playing this? Oh my god, we're actually playing Shintaro's list. Okay, that's cool. I ain't seen this deck in ages. So if you don't know what this deck is, it's a massive stage 2 deck um, that is using... It, it, it aims to achieve a combo with Greninja GX at the end um, where you constantly use Greninja GX to hit, I think, 110, um, shuffle it into the deck, and then draw into it again and constantly loop um, Greninja's being almost impossible to defeat considering that you have to hit 240 to pretty much shut down the loop um and if you're not hitting 240 then you, you're kind of screwed and then there's other things involved like um slacking and stuff like that which is it's a really cool deck it's a really cool deck um the way to shut it down is kind of taking out the chikoritas which we're going to do first hand here um let's see what they get yeah we're gonna take out the chikorita that's like the way to go. You have to take out the Chikorita. Um, and also take out the Frokies. Like if, if you can take out Frokies as soon as you put them down, you are smooth sailing. Um, there was a time where actually I played... Oh, do you know what? This Stealthy Hood... Oh, it's a shame we threw the choice band. I just wanted to chuck the choice band. But answer me this, guys. This Stealthy Hood, does it prevent the effect of slacking ability on it which means the first law ability would be active or even if that is the case could i attach this to jirachi and still use jirachi obviously i don't get the escape board combo but you know I'm kind of... okay um with that said we'll take another guzma just in case they go for another bench play 
and then we can just take out yeah i like that i like that a lot no real need to get any sort of energy out so viridian forest doesn't really do us any favors let's take this out and then next turn when they bench the other chikorita we're just going to take it out again we're like we're just going to be aggressive with the zaptos for now um that's what i like about this deck though and this idea it is quite versatile like you can play a lot of stuff in it especially considering you've got rainbow energy it also plays two counter energy which works very well the cure when you fall behind because this duck this deck this duck this duck does this deck does fall behind wow lieutenant surge that's a cool implementation i like that okay right so they're obviously going to get the froki out right but i still think the green sorry the chikorita is the the target this is a different variation of the list, so it's quite harder to play against because you have no idea what they got in store for you. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll keep rolling. We'll keep rolling. Another Chikorita. So yeah, they they know they know we're gonna target them again, which is a bit of a shame. But if we just get ourselves a cure and charged up, we can take out another one. Can take out another one. Right. Now the question I need to ask myself here is, do I go for the judge? And hope we hit a switch, which is quite rare to obtain with only getting four cards off the judge. Because I want a judge to make sure they don't get the Meganian out, which they obviously have in their hand. So, how? Oh, we have the switch. That's cool. We can take out the Vulpix guaranteed then. So. I don't mind judging here, even if it, even if we're not getting the desired card. Yeah, let's just judge. Let's just... No, we're not letting them have this. No way. Nobody. Sorry. It's not happening. It ain't happening, dog. All right. Well, we actually have the uh, the combo to get Arceus going as well. Sweet. Um, We could actually do that instead of going for the Zapto's kill. But, not going to lie. I kind of want to get the KO while I'm here. Kind of do. And we do get Viridian Forest, which is pretty dope. Uh, adventure bag. I don't think we need that right now. Um, we could nest ball. I don't mind doing that. Getting another Jirachi down would be helpful. Helpful. Um, or would another White Cure? No, I think another Jirachi would be good. And I actually played this Radiant Forest. I like that. Just to shut down them getting a Froakie out or something. I'm ass I'm assuming we're playing the Froakie deck. The, sorry, uh, Shintaro list. I'm assuming that. I mean, they do have Brooklyn Hill. So. And we actually, we, we can just like take this go. We just keep going with uh, Zapdos here. We can just take Eliza to retreat. We I'm actually going to do that because we have the Cynthia. So <laughs> we're going to switch again and go for another Zapdos. We haven't even seen Curum yet. We don't need it. So again, that's good versatility. I like the versatility. That's something that's, that's definitely worthy in this deck. So. That's working out well, which is nice. Let's do that. Retreat again. Go for the Zapdos and just get the KO. Sweet stuff. All right. Um, this is pretty much just turning into a Zapdos Jirachi deck. <laughs> uh, but again, that's good. Good versatility, good adaptability, both both of which, which is kind of cool. So I like that. I, I dig. I dig, dude. I dig it. I dig it. <clears throat> so they're probably going to get a Volpix out. It's going to be my guess. Right? Yeah, they got the Volpix. Um, at that point, what would they do? Switch Beacon? In any case, they're at great risk, though. Wow, I'm just predicting their plays. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we could just hopefully hit Switch. But I don't know how many Switches this guy actually plays. I forgot. I don't know if we're playing two or three. In any case... We can Arceus so long as we find a way to retreat. But even if we do find a way to retreat, it's probably better just to go for Zapdos, you know? <laughs> oh, we've done it again. We've done it again. We top decked it. Oh, good stuff. Absolutely jolly. Good stuff. Let's get rid of this Jirachi quickly. Let's get a Fire Energy. Throw it out on the Curum. Yes. Then we get to Tate and Liza. Then we get to Jirachi. Good stuff. Good stuff. See what we pull off the Jirachi here. That'd be good. A rescue stretcher, nothing incredibly valuable here, but could be useful. You never know. All right, let's let's just keep going with the greedy plays. It seems to be working. There we are. 
And they are just severely falling behind here, so that's kind of good. This is like the perfect deck for Zapdos to come up against. Zapdos just destroys deck that need, decks that need to evolve. It just like, so long as you've got your, your targets and you can use your Guzmas right, you can just bang, all right, take that one out, bang, take that out. As long as you take out the crucial targets, then it's quite hard um, to come up against. So there's the Mudkip. So it is, okay, it is, an, it is a variant of the Shintaridus, but is it the one that plays Greninja GX? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm going to... I'm a bit worried about attaching these things now because if this deck is playing slacking, that could really cause problems. No, no, it's not going to prevent... Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter about that. What am I talking about? All right, yeah, let's see what we get. Do we get switch? No. So we have to just, unfortunately, hit for 10 here. Which I'm okay with. That's fine by me. Hand's a bit weird as well. We can't really thin it down too much. Might have been a good idea to use Viridian Forest to thin this out of our hand. Our own Viridian Forest. But that is what it is. Hmm. <clears throat> Right, if they're just in pass territory, we can just be a bit we can be a bit more lenient. I don't mind just retreating into Arceus and getting this Curum charged up, you know? I really don't mind that. Yeah. This Kartan is dead, isn't it? Um We have no other way to go. Let's just see what's going on here. We have still have fire energy, we still have lightning energy, so we can still retreat the Zapdos, that's good. Um <clears throat> I'm thinking of attaching an energy to Zapdos and retreating, in which case it'd probably be better to attach a water energy. Because we can actually use... We don't even need to use Arceus, actually. We can just retreat into Jirachi and uh, Aqua Patch. If we pull a switch, that'd be a dope play. That'd be mad. Okay. Let's let's keep this going. Alright, I'm just going to drop you there. Uh, Lily. Yeah, that's Lily. Okay, we've got Titan Liza for next turn. That's good. What do we get off this? Um, probably take the Cynthia. So we could take Liza confidently without needing to be worried about things. And obviously we can't attack. But no matter what next turn we got the switch. I did want to find a Guzma though. Oh, Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a, it's a, it's a Rhyperia mill. All right. So it wasn't what I thought. Okay. Um, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why I said we have to take Liza for the switch. We can just manually retreat. I don't know what I'm talking about. I could double Jirachi though and take Liza, to be fair. Just to thin the deck down a bit. I don't mind doing that, actually. Just attach. Is 90 damage relevant? I don't think this deck wants to do damage. So I think that's fine. Attaching that there. Let's go for the double Jirachi. See if we can dig out a Guzma. In case they get something that... They try and trap as an active or something. I don't know. We'll still take it. We'll still take that Cynthia. In fact, now that I think about it, it's probably better to play the Cynthia and just use the one Jirachi. Probably more likely to find <laughs> a um, Guzma. Now, I know I could have used Zapdos there and just taken it pretty much to the end with Zapdos. But White Kirin's going to be hitting 160 every turn. We don't need that switch um, option that we could have done with Zapdos, although we could have taken the alternative route of retreating into Zapdos with Jirachi and next turn playing the Tate and Liza and retreating into the Zapdos again and using uh, Zapdos, but it depends on how, how much when they evolve, how much damage they're doing, so I'd rather we just stick with the Cure. Okay, so that's that's two games where they, they, they just quit, so that's a really, really successful video, so I'm actually really, really happy with this deck. Um, so, yeah, I'd definitely say there's still a bit of work that needs to be done, uh, maybe a few things that can bump its consistency with getting Pokemon out. Some more Pokemon search is something that I'd say is a must-have in this deck, in my opinion. Um, these Stealthy Hoods, not 100% sure what they're in there for, but I assume it's Weezing. I don't know what else there would be that is so vital that you need to use Stealthy Hood. I think it's Weezing. I think that's that's why that's why it's included in it. I could be wrong. Again, I have to guess. Um, the inclusion of these weird energies works so well because of Viridian Forest, so that's fine. You don't have to worry about awkwardness there, as long as you get Viridian Forest out. Dual support has seemed good. Tate and Liza seem to be incredibly powerful in that game. 
um, in that last game. So that was pretty good. So I can understand its inclusion there. So this deck seems very fine-tuned. Um, and I am, a, I am a big fan of it. So definitely go try it out. And if there are any inconsistencies you discover, then uh, be sure to leave a comment uh, in the description down below of any suggestions you think uh, that would make this deck any better. Aha, I just realized it only plays one switch. <laughs> um, so yeah, with that said, of course, as I, uh, let me repeat. If you do want me to play one of your decks, do leave it in the deck list suggestions tab over on my Discord server. But um, other than that, yeah, go give this deck a try. I think it was pretty good. Um, thank you. Uh, Poke Alpha or Isidro, I'm going to say that, <laughs> for submitting the deck. Um, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. But with that said, do leave a like if you did enjoy. And of course, subscribe for more. But most importantly, do take care and peace.